to our service of even song today from St Mary's the Collegiate Church of St Mary in the heart of the city of Swansea so wherever you are if you're in Wales or anywhere around the world you are very welcome to join us today today Ash Wednesday where we begin the season of Lent it's also a day when we remember the people of Ukraine the people of Russia in this difficult time as we pray for them during this service We begin with the Welsh office hymn, Hro Im Ar Hedd. The psalm appointed for this evening's service is Psalm 102, and the first 11 verses will now be sung for us. Thank you. 
first lesson is taken from the book of Isaiah, the first chapter beginning at verse 10. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifice, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who ask this for your hand? Trample my courts no more, bringing offerings is fertile, incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and calling of convocation, I cannot endure solemn assemblies with, in with iniquity. Your new moons and your appointed festivals my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your doing from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Seek justice, rescue the oppressed. Defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Come now, let us argue it out, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of our cross. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He, remembering his mercy, hath helped his servant Israel. As he promised to our fathers, Abraham and his Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. second lesson is taken from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, beginning at verse 11. Then Jesus said, there was a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, 
Father, give me that share of my property that will belong to me. So he divided his property between them. A few days later, the younger son gathered all he had and travelled to a distant country. And there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to his field to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough to spare, and here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. And get the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now his elder son was in the field, and when he came and approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on. He replied, Your brother has come home. And your father has killed the fatted calf because he has got him back safe and sound then he became angry and refused to go in his father came out and began to plead with him but he answered his father listen for all those years i have been working like a slave for you and i have never disobeyed your command Yet you have never given me even a young goat so that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours comes back, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you kill the fatted calf for him. Then the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we have to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead, and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. To be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost.
this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us Thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is no Make clean our hearts within us. Lord, who for our sake didst fast forty days and forty nights, give us grace to use such abstinence that our flesh, being subdued to the Spirit, we may ever obey thy godly motions in righteousness and true holiness to thy honor and glory who lives and reigns with the father and the holy spirit one god world without end almighty god from whom all holy desires all good counsels and all just works to proceed give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments and that being defended by thee from the fear of our enemies we may pass our time in rest and quietness through jesus christ our lord Amen. <laughs> Frag bo perago at ken bad with a nos hon. Trui garia de inig vab, ein quaredru yesi Christ. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, we pray for all Christian people that we may be a royal priesthood, a holy nation, to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Bishop John, particularly this time when he awaits his enthronement. We pray for all bishops and other ministers that they may remain faithful to their calling and rightly proclaim the word of truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for children and young people and all who are new to faith, that the Lord will guide their growth in him. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen. We play, pray for the leaders of the nations and all in authority, that your people may lead faithful and peaceful lives. We pray especially for the people of the Ukraine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for this nation, this parish and the city of Swansea, for all who live and work here, the poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, men and women, that you will show your mercy to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick or troubled or in any kind of need, that you would deliver them and keep them in your love. We take a moment to remember those known to us who need our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves that we may be strengthened in our faith, our love and our service. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. We commend the faithful departed to your eternal care. We pray for all those who mourn. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we pray for ourselves and for those we know and love. As we bring our own prayers and petitions before God. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to you, Lord God, through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is O Love That Wilt Not Let Me Go.
and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be on you and those who you love, wherever you are, this day and always. Lord God, grant that as we leave this place, we may know we are always in your presence, Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>